Target date funds, you've heard of them. Chances are you're likely invested in one of them if you have a 401k. What they do is they shift allocation of your assets in your portfolio from stocks to bonds as you get older and approach your target date, your retirement date. But some experts say they're coming up short. Joining me now, Wayne Kaufman, Chief Market Analyst for John Thompson Financial. Uh, Wayne, welcome to the show. Uh, we've been looking at numbers on these funds all day long, and let me tell you, it couldn't be less impressive. Take a look at the returns on 2015 target funds funds last year. They, they were up 10.6%. Sounds good, right? The S&P 500 index was up 16%. So they're underperforming. Uh, they're underperforming uh, the broader markets. Now, I know a lot of people out there say, you know, we were disappointed with their performance back in 2008 when the market was tanking. They were tanking even more. And now the market's up and they're not doing as well. What gives? Well, the, the 2008 performance caused, uh, I think, the typical overreaction on the part of people who supervise these types of things and, and manage them. But uh, as you said, these funds shift the allocation from stocks into bonds as they get towards the target date, which is supposed to coordinate with somebody's retirement date. And on the face of it, that makes a lot of sense because you're supposed to be reducing your risk as you get older. But the reality intrudes here, right? I mean, it, the reality is that the markets fluctuate and you might want to make some investment decisions based on that. Well, that's right. So uh, I'm against any type of what I call mindless investing. And these types of, of investments appeal to people because a lot of people want to go on autopilot. They don't want to make decisions. But the problem can be you can be shifting into uh, or out of stocks into bonds at exactly the wrong time. And that might be happening right now. Now. Because it, people would be getting out of these things. What do you mean? Tell me what you mean by that. Well, they automatically take you from stocks to bonds. into bonds. Well, right now we're seeing for the week ending January 9th, there was an inflow into equity funds, stock funds, of $14.8 billion for the one week. That was more than any entire month going back to January of 2011. So we, we may be seeing right now a shift away from bonds into stocks. So for some people, especially those who were hurt in 2008, they may be shifting out of stocks into bonds at exactly the time they need more exposure to equities in order to make up for what so they the lost So the timing out. ultimately could be very, very wrong. And as we were showing you before, the investments in these have gone through the roof. Over the past six years, assets, assets have grown five-fold. There's more marketing muscle behind these target funds than Doritos. Do you know what I mean? These, are, this is, these funds were made up to make people feel safe investing. And the reality is investing is not safe. You have to take risk to make money. Right, right. And, and that's why I think they're bad ideas for the most part. But, uh, and I think a better idea is to... If you want a mutual fund, you buy a balanced fund that does have stocks as well as bonds, but where you have a manager who's making the asset allocation decision based on what's happening in the market as opposed to an arbitrary timetable. Markets aren't going to listen to an arbitrary timetable. No, they don't. And that's, that's the problem with that whole idea. I know people got so nervous about investing and they really wanted just to set it and forget it, but the reality is in investing you just can't do that. I just want to cite some Vanguard numbers here. 82% of their retirement plans have target date funds, and a quarter of the investors in these funds had all of their money in target date funds. So I, I would ask you tonight, look at your 401k, see if you have any target date funds, see how they're perform, performing. You may think that 10% is good, but you're losing out, my friends. Wayne, thanks for coming on tonight. You're very well. Really appreciate it. I, I just feel wound up about this topic, <laughs> and I, I hope people will take a look because it's critically it's important. important to you. It is. Thank